This video was supposed to be a video of me teaching you guys what the New Balance numbers meant. But as I was researching and researching, it came to me that it is actually so frustrating to even understand a glimpse of what the New Balance, balance numbers mean. I usually do informative videos where I actually learn something new and I'm able to teach you guys, but the more and more I break it down, the more I don't understand what it really truly means. So here we go. First, you got your single alphabet or your double digit alphabet, which stands for the type of shoe it is. MT, for example, would be men's trail or WW would be woman's walking. And then your next number, it could range from three all the way to 19. Three to 19 is the performance level, but that's where it starts to get really confusing because they don't say what it really means, like three, they say it's supposed to be for the most casual walker and 19 is supposed to be like the most intense runner there is. They don't say specifics like they don't say if there is going to be pronation that's covered and threes or um, arch supports better on 19 or anything like that. And then you have your next digit which is supposed to be determining your cushioning level. So that cushioning level goes by 10 numbered increments. There's 40 all the way to 90. 40 is supposed to be for like stability and a little bit more support. And 90 is supposed to be like least support, but light as possible. And you can have really good cushioning so they can run further. Because it's so confusing to explain and so confusing to understand, if you try to explain the 574, it becomes so convoluted. So five is on the spectrum of like least performance. Seven, four, seven, is the st light stability range and i don't understand what the four means but i guess that's five seven and the fourth version of the five seven uh shoe lineup super confusing it's like it's not even necessary to know it it's not necessary to have it i'd much rather it have a name like fresh from cruise um to realize that that model is what it is and then change the model name if you add something new to it. So I thought I could teach you guys today about the New Balance numbering system, but it's just way too complicated uh, to really understand it. And it just seems like that was a waste of time. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.